You ever been recognized in real life? Yeah, 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 a couple of times, couple of times. So the other day, yeah, I must have went to um, the shop around the corner. And um, I'm in the shop now. And like in this Northampton area, like black people, they're kind of just bred you in it because there's not that much black people in it. But anyway, so I'm in the shop. And I was kind of pissed off that day because I had to go to the shop three times because I was having some problems with my gas meter, innit? You know, like with the top-up car thing, isn't it? Anyway, I'm in the I'm in the shop now. And to my left, I saw one big guy, one tall mixed race guy, in it. So he just come next to me. He's being served by the person to my left. And he's like, You're right, brother. I'm just like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Cool. Now, why are you saying hello to me? For. I'm not even looking at you. He's saying a lot for it, but black man and mixed race man, they just kiss your ass out in Northampton and that. Boom. Anyway, for some reason, something just told me, just turn around and look at him. I don't know why. So he looked at me and he said, Hold on. He's like, I I've seen you around. I I've, se I've seen you before, innit? I'm like, Oh, yeah, I probably worked at your house or your flat. Because obviously, I work in people's houses in Northampton, innit? So I said to him, I probably worked in your flat or something, your house, innit? He's like, Nah, nah, nah. Oh, I see you on. On the, on, on the thing i'm like oh you, you see me on tiktok or youtube he's like no no i saw you on my laptop when i was in prison i was like oh shit you, you was in prison he's like yeah he's like oh my god your name's um j j i was like yeah j y like, oh my god you're fucking legend mate why am i started going not wild in it but he started making up noise in the shop didn't it he said to the girl in the shop he's like, oh my god this guy's a fucking legend mate he helps people to correct and fix their life He's like a black, he's a mixed race man, but he's like a white man, isn't he? So that's how I'm doing a copy accent with that. He said, oh, you're from um, Tottenham? I said, no, I'm from Edmund. He said, yeah, that's it, that's it. I'm from North West London, but I moved up here and I was laughing. I almost started making a noise in the shop. So there's been a couple of times I've been spotted. I was doing a podcast the other day, so I had to go down to Hackney. Um, I'm driving back from Hackney. Let's say I come from Stanford Hill. I'm entering like South Tottenham. I'm on Tottenham High Road. If you bus all right, you can go down the road to go down to Glazemore School, if you know where that is. I think it's called Crowlin Road or Croylan Road um, in N15. I'm in my car, I'm rapping to a song, yeah? With me, I'm a madman just rapping to a song, got the window down, music up, full blast, and I'm rapping to a song. So I noticed there was a guy in a car beside me, but I just, I just saw a silver car, and I didn't really pay too much attention, but something just said, look to your left, didn't it? So I look to my left now, a, a little kid's at the window, or the passenger, and the guy's driving, and he's like, yo, I see you on TikTok, you did a TikTok scene. I was like, yeah, yeah, yeah. So anyway, he's like, yeah, respect, it. So anyway, we can't, he drove off, I carried on driving. I said, like, hey, you know what, I just done a podcast, you know. He's like, what's it called, isn't it? I couldn't even remember the name of the podcast, but I remember it now, it's called Creative Insight Podcast. You're going to have to wait a few weeks for that podcast to come out, because I think the guy done a lot of... Um, interviews that day so he like drops one every sunday and i think he's done like six or seven in in that time so you're probably gonna have to wait potentially like six weeks or something hopefully mine comes out sooner rather than later but yeah you might have to wait up to six weeks maybe another two or three weeks to see my podcast since but yeah i've been recognized a couple times um when i was in a barber shop i was getting my hair cut left and then the following week uh, my barber said, oh, you see that guy that came in the barbershop that asked me, like, how many people I've got or whatever? He said, oh, he said, he said that he watches your videos. You know? I was like, oh, shit. I don't even remember the guy's face. So that's how I knew I recognize. I'd never seen him. Before.